started. I am actually going to make a snowman out of this ornament that I got from the Dollar Tree. There's the back of it. But I'm going to make a top hat out of the small um, rounds. These are containers with lids. <clears throat> okay. So what I found, which was the easiest way to do it, um, scissors. I actually cut this in half because I wanted the back to be flat. So we're only using a half of this. Okay. So I cut it in half. I do not need the lids. And then what I started doing, because this is really hard to cut, I actually, let me see how I did this. Okay. I actually made little cuts all the way around. And I'll show you what they look like when I'm done cutting them. So I'm just cutting like every half inch. Just putting a slice down there. Well, welcome, Allison from Australia. How are you? What's the weather like? We're making a snowman out of the Dollar Tree ornament. All I'm doing to make it easier to cut is just making little scores in the plastic down to this rim. Because I want the rim, the flat part. I don't want this top part. So what I found, it was easier to make little scores in it first and then go back and cut. Very warm. Wow. My stepdaughter went to Australia one year. She really liked it. It's our world traveler. She travels everywhere. <clears throat> so see, it's easier to cut when you score it as opposed to trying to cut it when it's not scored. And then I just go back and trim it up some. Like I said, I want that flat part of the brim there, but I don't need it all. Okay. So what I did, I was actually trying to spray paint this one and it didn't work. So I took one of my uh, two and a half inch ribbons from Sam's Club. And I have that fun foam. So I drew a circle using the template for the, for the side. And then I cut that in half, cut it out because this is actually going to sit on here. Now, isn't that the perfect size? for a little snowman hat. Can you all see it? Would it be easier if I... Hi, Carrie. I will be answering questions at the end. So we, we started with the Sure Fresh Small Rounds from the Dollar Tree. And if you bought three, you can get six out of it because we're only using half of it. Okay? So, that's what it looks like when we get done. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I was trying to paint this, and the paint would have adhered if I had enough. But I didn't have enough brown, and I didn't have enough black. <coughs> so what we're going to do, I have some, some fleece here. We're actually going to cover this 
piece of plastic. But we're going to do the top first because it's going to hang down over the sides a little bit and then this piece is going to cover across the top. So let's see if we melt this or not. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you ever have something during dinner and then start choking? Well, I was choking tonight. And now I can't stop coughing. So I'm just going to trim that. It's hanging over. So I'm hoping to take the next piece and kind of layer it on top of. And then trim it up. But see how nicely this fits down in the rim? Let me uh, see if I can bring you in closer. Does that help? I'm looking on the monitor to see if it worked. Sorry, it's a delay. There. <clears throat> There's a little rim here, what I left when I cut off part of that. So, hello, Emery. All right, so we're going to glue this down. I'm going to start with the bottom first. So, we're actually making this hat in like three pieces. And you'll see when I'm done why we did it in three pieces. It's just a little easier to do when you do it this way. And I'm going to just take that around the back. Actually, I'm going to put a little bead across the top to hold it in place. And a little bit down the side. You can probably buy hats for this, but I wanted to work with what I had. So, and give you the option of using something a little more economical because you get three of these for a dollar, so you can get six hats out of that. And it just was the perfect height when I measured it up to the ornament in the store. So I'm turning down the side and then I'm going to turn down this side. I'm going to trim some of this. We don't have so much back there. Alright, so we've got it, the bottom done. Now we're just going to work at the top. Which probably should have glued this piece first before I glued the top part. So we'll just remove that. And we'll tuck this down in here, and then we'll put that over top of it. Hello, Lillian. How are you? It was a little difficult to try and do the whole hat in one section, so I figured it was easier for, you know, to do it this way. And then trim off what we don't need. Let me pull off that glue. And then let me just trim this up so it looks even, rounded. There we go. 
This is fleece fabric. I could have used the fun film on the whole thing, but I don't like the way that looks when it's finished. And it can get kind of floppy. So the reason I'm using these lids is so that it um, <clears throat> it makes it sturdy. Hi, Levon. We're working on circles tonight. Everything around. All right, so we're going to just tuck that down over the side. <clears throat> I can't find it, but I had some really nice black trim. So when I find it, I will um, go ahead and use it on this just to kind of give it a finished top look. All right, so that's the, that's the side of your hat and the top of your hat. Now, again, I used my um, Sam's Club ribbon to cut the circle, which in turn I cut in half. Now, because I left this part of the rim on the bottom of the hat, it is going to glue, I'm going to glue it to the, the I guess you call it the brim of the hat. And so it's going to set nice on there because it's got something to glue it to. What our hat's going to look like when it's done. Hi, Susan. If you guys wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't liked my page or signed up to be notified of my lives, um, I would appreciate you doing so. I don't know if you know it, but some of my buds from my design group, I surely will try that in just a second. All right. Is that better? Can you see it? Okay, so that's what the front of the hat looks like. Here's what the back of the hat looks like. Now we're going to add, I think I'm going to go with this ribbon. <clears throat> and I'm going to actually put that around the bottom to kind of finish it off, like right around here. Okay. spot of glue here and then do another spot to kind of overlap the back fold it down so I have a nice clean edge and I don't have the um, surged edge showing I think that is yucky looking So I don't burn my fingers I'm using a wooden stick. There we go. And we're going to put that around his hat. Going to glue one edge first and then go and glue it right to the fleece. This 
this wired ribbon um, that came from Michael's. Can you all see that okay? I don't need all this around the back, so I'm going to trim some of it off. So that's our hat. Now, I wanted this flat against the back because it's going to be flat in the back. So, all right. Y'all know this. This is a Dollar Tree ornament, okay? Now, you have several ornamental things on here. I took those off and saved them and took the beads off and saved them. See the snowflakes and the little red beads? Took them all off. And what I started doing was wrapping this. Now this came from Walmart. It's like four something, 497 or something. Now I'm gonna be wrapping back and forth. And see this is gonna sit right here but this part of the ornament up here I'm going to let's see if I can find it I'm looking for my exacto knife okay well we're going to use this then I'm going to score a little bit of this fun foam back here and make a slit because the slit is what's going to stick to the top of the ornament here and then I'm going to be gluing it in place because see this is going to be flat against the door or the wall so I wanted it to be flat in the back all right but I needed that little ornament part at the top to hold it in place. So I'll be gluing the hat there when I'm done. That's why I made just this little slit in the bottom. All right. So I took off all the tinsel. Okay. And then I'm just going to wrap back and forth. It gets pretty full. So you really don't see any of the, um, frame through it, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spot it with glue in a few places just to keep it from unraveling. And I'm just going around the little tabs that were there for the tinsel roping. Hi Maggie, how are you? So I'm just wrapping it back and forth. I already started it because I kind of wanted to concentrate on showing you how to do the hat first. But you're just going to weave it back and forth. And then, like I said, in a few places, you're just going to touch it up with glue just to keep it in place. Just another um, way to secure it. I was going to make this guy out of fleece and just cover him with fleece, but I thought this, this was kind of nice. So you're just going to use the tabs that were there and keep rocking back and forth with it. The frame Lillian was from Dollar Tree. It's an ornament. 
Can you see it? I just took all the tinsel and everything off of it. Okay. I definitely want to put some glue down here because we're getting close to the bottom. So what I will do is I'm out of tabs. I'm just going to glue it to the bottom here and then bring it around back and glue it. Okay, there's, there's our snowman head. And then I'm going to glue this in place. Yeah, they have the ornament. Um, I just found it there. So there. And look, I still have enough to do probably a couple more. And if you buy a three pack of these and you're using a half per hat, you can get six out of this. Okay. And if you didn't work on in the beginning, you can always go back and see how I cut the, the rim and all that. All right. <clears throat> now I have fleece for the eyes. I have a nose that we're going to be gluing on here. I can even take some of this stuff and decorate the hat that came with it. There were three snowflakes and then three beaded like jewels. I'm going to use those on the hat. And they were just glued, so they come off really easy. Just getting all the tinsel off of the pieces. There's a lot of items that they have that you can make the, the um, snowman out of. You can actually use the pumpkin frames too. The head Karen is from the Dollar Tree. It's the ornament. Sorry, this isn't cleaning up real easy. There we go. Just wanted to get most of it off so the glue adheres to it. I'm going to actually use the red as the holly on the hat. So I got three pieces for the hat. 
So let's get our eyes glued in place. Let me just kind of position the hat. You see? Yeah, the yarn came from Walmart. It's called Chunky Yarn. Thank you. All right, so we're going to glue his eyes on. The yarn was like four ninety seven, something like that. His nose is made out of <coughs> um, that kind of stiff felt. I covered the hat, the top and the sides with black fleece. Okay, there he is so far. <coughs> All right, now I have a few buttons here that we can use for the mouth. So let me just kind of the black buttons. kind of up here because we still have the scarf to do so I think right there is good To make him look kind of festive, I don't know, you think he should have some snowflakes on his cheek? I could put it at the end of the mouth like that. Oops. Yeah, I think we'll do that. to give him a little glitz. Karen, if you go back and watch the replay, it's just a matter of weaving the chunky yarn back and forth over the little tabs that are on the end. Doesn't he look cute? Okay. And that still gives me an extra... Um, snowflake that I can put like on his hat too because it comes with three see three across the bottom and then three jewels in the white alright so I had some little um, holly leaves which I'm not sure now if I like them or not I think I'm going to go with this because this kind of doesn't look good against the dark green there. You're so welcome. If I don't see your questions, I will go back at the end and answer them. If not tonight, definitely by tomorrow. seems to be when we place this stuff on YouTube, they don't like it when we're real talky-talky. They only like our tutorials if we're just explaining and not chatting. Alright, and then we'll 
gonna put that one probably right about there. I think I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Okay. There, so he's got a little bit of greenery on his hat. And then I'm gonna use the beads as the holly berries. Like I said, you get three. That's why I chose this ribbon because the ribbon has holly berries on it and they were sparkly. Yes, there are tabs, Michelle. You'll see when you unravel the ornament, you will see the tabs. Do not cut them off. And then I'll put one right there. So see, he's got some sparkle to his hat. There. Now it's just a matter of going back and forth and tuck, you know, spotting it with glue in a few places just to make sure it adheres and stays. There we go. And like I said, I have some flat black trim that I'm going to actually put across the top of here. So it's going to cover where this fleece goes under and this fleece comes over top. It's easier to do it in sections rather than try and cover the whole thing together. Because it's curved, it's going to give you a bunch of puckers. So I had one piece that went across here and a half circle that went across the top. So that black trim that I have that's flat is gonna to totally disguise where the two meet. And then, like I said, I used the um, fun foam for the bottom. See, I wanted it to be kind of waterproof, so if it were put outside, it wasn't gonna matter. And we have a slit here, okay? And the reason for the slit is to use utilize this part of the ornament up top here. Because then I can just put it right here and glue it. And then I still have access to the circle here to hang it from, okay? So this is gonna get hot glued just like that, okay? But I think what I do with my other, here it is. I think I'm just going to put one little snowflake over here. Just to make them look really festive. There. So that's him so far. And I want to kind of put that on a little bit of a slant. Now we're going to work on his... Um, his scarf, okay? And I wasn't sure if I would be able to use this pipe. I have a corn cob pipe here. Yeah, I don't see why not, right? That is gonna go perfect right there. How about that? And what I can do is I can tie it off on the back to hold it in place too. All right. All right. Let's try hot glue in it and see if we can get it to stick that way. But Frosty always had a corn cob pipe, right? And a button nose. Well, he's got a carrot for a nose. And I'm not going to start singing the song because we don't want to upset Facebook. Thank you, Diane. Yes, we are. We're doing well. Okay, so now we're going to work on his scarf. Now I have this. It's kind of like, um, what's the word I want to use? Um, burlap, kind of. Okay, and this is what I'm going to use for his scarf. So I'm 
going to actually glue it to the back first and then come around front and position it. All right. So I'm just going to glue across the bottom here and go up a little bit on the sides. There we go. Now, since his pipe's on that side, I think I'm going to go more towards this side. The pipe, I have, actually I have a lot in stock. They're 99 cents. I got them from one of my wholesalers. And I know they don't have any more right now. Because I kind of bought up a bunch of them because I had another idea for a snowman and I didn't like how that worked. So I'm gonna glue across the front here. Try not to burn myself. There we go. And then tie it down like this. I'll glue it to the bottom, keep it in place. And then I'm going to kind of fray the edges to make it look like a real scarf. It's easy to do with this, but I'm going to trim the wire. I'm just going to pull it down and trim the wire out so the wire is not like sticking out. See how I just pull that wire up and trim it so it's kind of up and out of the way. I can even fray it a little more if I'd like. I just thought the red was a nice. Um, pop a color in here to kind of match the hat. There. Instant fray. Tina, it's the ornament from Dollar Tree with everything removed. You can always go back and watch the replay to see how we made the hats out of the uh, small round Dollar Tree containers. We used the pieces off the ornament. It had snowflakes. It had some um, jeweled rounds. I'm going to, again, I'm going to pull some of this wire out and snip it to keep it from the edge where it will hurt somebody. And then continue to fray the burlap. I don't even know where I got it. It's Expressions. It's probably Sims last year. This you can go up as high as you want. I just want it to look like it's fringed. Now if I wanted to, I could have even taken this extra piece and put it, let's see if I can get it off without it leaving a mark. I did. We can actually put it right here on his scarf. Right here. I think that looks good, don't you?
I know, like I said, people are using all kinds of stuff to make the snowman. They're actually using the um, pumpkin, the wired pumpkin to make it, but I thought this was the right size for what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a couple of them as gifts. So there we go, there he is. We weaved it back and forth. We glued the pipe in his mouth. So we've got corn cob pipe. And now we're gonna use that slit I told you, I showed you, to fit right over top of the thing that held the, um, the top of the ornament where the bow was. Thank you, Allison. So now we're going to hot glue this. And you still have access where this is at. You still have access to the, the circle that you would use to put a hanger on to hang it on the wall. So you still have access to your little hanger, okay? And it's flat, so it's gonna go flat against the wall or flat against the door, as you can see. And I only used half of the container. Okay, see? There you go. There is our round snowman. And he didn't take a whole lot, okay? Because we already had this. We already had this. Um, like I said, this this chunky wool was from Walmart. So all we did was cut a nose out of um, that stiff felt, used some buttons for the mouth, made his little cheeks with the snowflakes that came with the ornament because you have three on there across the bottom and then you have three jeweled pieces across the top okay there we go and we used half of the lid to cover with fleece and ribbon to make his hat hello Peggy thank you Sue so these were three for a dollar, so you get six out of this. You don't need the lids. You can save the lids for something else because we use the fun foam for the, for the rim of the hat. But there you go. Can you all see him okay now? Isn't he handsome? Awesome. That's great. I picked up a few because I saw them and I thought, I know I'll be able to do something with those. Even you could even make a snow globe out of this. Wouldn't that be cute too? If you can't, then Tina, go back in, go out and come back in again. Okay. All right, now as I promised, it's everything round tonight, okay? So we have some time to do another project, actually probably a couple. I got out my, uh, oh, and I want to show you what we've been making in our design group. This is not done with, um, you weave the yarn around the tabs on, you just go back and forth. If you go back to the replay, Diane, you'll be able to see how it was done. Okay. But this is something we've been doing in our design group. Our design group is called Team of Dream Designers. We have fabulously fine designers which is the public group, and then Team Dream Designers. Team of Dream Designers. There's eight designers. Oh, thank you, Ruth. Mary, 
Go back and watch the replay. It was done on the Dollar Tree ornament frame. You'll be able to see it from start to finish. I'm trying not to answer too many questions because when this gets downloaded to YouTube, a lot of people don't want chatty chatty. <laughs> so I'm trying not to be chatty. Even though I can't help it, I want to chat with you guys. All right. I thought I'd show you one of the designs I did today. These are charger plates that I got from my, from my um, distributor. Now I know Dollar Tree, a lot of people are taking the um, plates and they're just putting the fabric to the back. So I'm kind of showing you some ideas to do with those plates if you went that route. What my plan is to do is I have these um, cable ties and I'm going, I'm waiting on the glue, the DAP Rapid um, glue is what I'm waiting on. It will actually adhere to the plastic. And then I'm going to have a rope up from this with a big bow on it. I know you do. And it's so hard not to chat. But these were actually two designs that I got off of Etsy. Um, this was from one um, Etsy shop and this was from another. It's hard not to. It really is. And I had another design picked out for around here. And of course, it didn't cut all the way through like it was supposed to. So, backup plan. We're just going to move on and do something else. Okay? I know you've seen those wreaths that everybody has, uh, like three of these in the swag or in the wreath with different with different sayings on them. So I actually printed out hope, joy, believe, and peace. And I have three of these. Um, we're going to go ahead and use three of them and put them on there because I have a feeling the next wreath I make, I'm going to use these. So I already went ahead and weeded them, all the stuff out that I didn't want to use. I think believe is going to be one of the words that I use. And I need my little spatula type thing. And when I get these plates decorated with the um, rope, the glue isn't supposed to be in until Thursday, so unless I find it beforehand, I will have to wait. Now see, these that we made in our design group were not made with the vinyl. Okay, and that's something I only shared with the design group. Oops. The circles... They are five inches. I have some here. The vinyl is actually the Cricut vinyl that I got from Michaels. This here. I could have used fabric if I wanted, but I had some of it. I used it for a design with the vinyl, and it was horrible. So I've taken to putting stuff on it instead of cutting out with it. I had a beautiful um, cookie tin that I had the lid all ready for a sign using this vinyl, and it was it did not cut well at all. And it would have looked cute. Hi, Tequila. How's my girlfriend? In fact, all I think all my designers are on here tonight from our design group. We've got Carla with One Stop Boutique. We've got Rita with Rita's Reef Barn. We've got Susan with AC Inspired Reese. Is Sandy on? 
Hello from Alabama. And then we have Tequila from Unbreathable. Is Dawn on? <laughs> I'll, I'll message you, Tina. <laughs> And then we have um, Levine with Dreams. Is it Dreams of Yvonne? Is it Levine? Is it Dreams of You? Oh, I should have written it down again. Write it in for me, will you, babe? And then Sandy has. I can never remember Sandy's either. And then Dawn is um, Wreath the Core by Dawn. Dreams of You. I know, right? I think I'll, I don't know. Should I do Hope or Peace? Believe, Hope and Joy, or Believe, Joy and Peace. They're all strong words. Forever Dreams of You by Levine. And then Sandy's is what? <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Let's go for peace. Trending Designs by Sandy. Thank you, Susan. And then there's me. Robins, wreath classes and supplies. Robins wreathery. See, I can't even get my own right. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's been that kind of a day. I've been personalizing toys and embroidering aprons and dealing with two dogs in heat. And a male that wants Adam now. And it's been like a three ring circus. I think my husband's ready to move and leave us all behind. There we go. Aren't they pretty? And then like I said, I have flat trim that I can just trim out the sides if I wanted. These were already white. Diane, if you go to the left, you'll see where it says Home, Posts, Jobs, Events, Reviews, Videos. At the end, just click on Videos, and it'll play. You just click on this video, and then it'll play, okay? But aren't those pretty? I know you guys have seen lots of wreaths. with, And look, that, that's so simple to make your own. Why buy them? Right? <laughs> Thank you, Susan. But I thought that was pretty. Very simple to do. This was saved for the um, top of the cookie tin that I had to do. Um, but that's still drying. It did not dry fast enough. I do have news, though, to share with those outside of my group who don't know. Um, my son had their reveal party for the baby this weekend on Saturday. And come February, they're having a boy. And this grandchild will be right in the next town over. So you can bet I'm going to be spending time with the family when the baby, the baby's due on February 29th, leap year. So we are all thrilled. She had both sets of parents and all the siblings and had a video. My son made a movie. 
Oh, didn't want to do that yet. Uh oh. Okay. It's the only hard part about doing a plate. There we go. I thought I would just show you a couple of the gifts that I'm making for family and friends this year for Christmas. Might as well spend the time doing double duty. Okay. And then we're going to just peel this off. And those that didn't stick, we will make sure that we catch them before we pull it all off. And like I said, there'll be a a rope that hangs up here and a bow at the top. These plates I bought just this way, um, but if you go to the Dollar Tree, they have plates that people have been gluing fabric to the back, so it would be very easy to make your own. Tequila, I printed them out on my, my, my cutter that I have. It's like a Cricut, but it's a Brother Scan and Cut. It's vinyl. And this time I went ahead and weeded it ahead of time and put it on the backing ahead of time because last time I tried to do it on a live I ended up attaching it to the wrong side of the paper and then the paper was coming up with it. <laughs> so. That's awesome, Allison. Hi, Joy. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that against the black and the red. So I will use the DAP glue to mount the um, cable mounts, two of them on the back, so there will be a nice rope hanging up here with a bow. And if you couldn't find these charger plates already made up, there's plenty of videos up there on YouTube on how to make your own plates um, with the Dollar Tree plates gluing fabric to the back. I don't, I don't particularly care for them. I mean, I kind of like using this better, but if you can't get these, there's an option. So I did that one today. I did this one today. I did this one, but the border I have, um, did not turn out so I'm actually going to go back and I think just put various stars around here or snowflakes and then we made these so we did everything circle tonight thank you so how's that for circle 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 I think I have anything else, but these I'll probably put on a wreath for Wednesday's live. But wouldn't these, I mean, this is just so easy to do. I mean, it's time consuming, but you know, every time you make something handmade, it's going to be time consuming. But I prefer to get handmade things over. Um, store-bought things. I'll have to make a couple of these. So I got plenty of yarn left, plenty of lids to make more hats, plenty of corn cob pipes. So there shouldn't be any problem. Thank you, Allison. And I even have a word left over. So I could even make 
you know, I can even, in, I reduce the size of these, so I could even make them bigger and just put, you know, one word per plate. But I know you've seen these all made by everybody. Thank you, Tequila. So I'm waiting on these and I'm waiting on the glue. So when I get that in, I'll finish these off with a nice bow up top. Um, I've got lots of ribbon. So I'll figure out something. But again, if you're interested in our design group, we made cups. The circles, Colleen, were actually um, a baseball, a wooden baseball that I took the stripes off of. The It's five inch circle. And then I got this um, vinyl from Michael's. It came like this in a roll. It didn't cut really well. I tried to make a design that was actually going on the top of a, a cookie tin and it didn't turn out real well. So I just started using it on that. See, it comes with three kinds of vinyl in it. And our snowman was the um, ornament. I took off the embellishments and reuse those. You could, if you wanted, reuse the bow, but it's it's really lame. <laughs> so I didn't. You can watch the replay, Judy. I had the circles on hand for when we made our baseball wreath. Um, I know I still have some. sure if you look in the wood section of your craft store they'll have something similar that you can use I know I even have smaller ones and I think they were actually a four inch I kind of like the five inch better and I just chiseled off the um, the threads the pipe I actually have them in stock they're like 99 cents This is a truck I want to do. I'm actually going to use this vinyl to do the truck cap and then put a green up top here and just do the wheels in black. And actually, yeah, the pipes are, you can get them in any hobby store. I have a bunch. They're 99 cents. I bought them from an, for another project and I they were not the right size. They just were the perfect size for this. So there you go. All things round. So if you're interested in joining our design group, please go ahead and sign up. Um, we got a lot of stuff planned. We do it Monday nights and Friday nights. We have two designers tonight. That one is um, Sandy. She does chalk couture, and Levon does furniture restoration. So we're going to go over painting, cleaning, tips of your brushes, and all that stuff. Is any Oh, I'm not sure what you mean by the comeback, Diane. I know you had said that. Did we encourage you to get started again? Is that what you mean? We're just glad you could join us. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to head out because I want to check out our design group tonight and catch up and learn lots. And if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to write them in the comments. I do go back over them in the morning. And um, I'm here to help. Thank you, Joy, for blessing my page. I really appreciate that. Don't you think they make nice gifts? And then, like I said, once I get the tabs on there and put the string up here and put a nice bow, or heck, you know, I could put the tab here and then put some stuff decorated and have it go down like that, right? Hi, Thelma. You'll have to watch the replay because I'm just about to turn, turn it off, okay? Just go to the left and look under videos. All right, guys, if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, and um, hopefully you can join me on Wednesday at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Okay? All right, guys, you have a great evening, and thank you so much. Good night.